The word cubism sounds like it might be about cubes or blocks, but it is actually a style of art that was started in France in 1907 by Picasso and his friend Georges Braque. Picasso wanted to try something different. He was interested in something deeper or more elemental, so he decided to simplify the images to its most basic features, triangles, squares, circles, and lines. Once he simplified the object, he would break it apart into sections so that he could consider each part of the object separately. One thing he was really interested in was being able to show the object from different perspectives at the same time, like the front, back, and top all at once. So he would take many different segments of his simplified shapes and put them back together in a carefully crafted arrangement, kind of like a puzzle. Here we are going to look at an example of the painting Castle at La Roche Grillon, painted by George Brock. You have here a side-by-side -side comparison of Brock's painting and a photo of the same castle. You can see how they have similar shapes, like the towers at the top of the hill, and some of the roof lines and chimneys. You can see how Brock simplified most of the details down to their most characteristic parts that make the castle identifiable. Notice how these examples of faces by Picasso are broken up into fragmented planes of color and shape, showing some parts of the body facing front, some from the side, some even from the top or back, all at the same time. They try to show you lots of details that you wouldn't normally be able to see at the same time, all the while simplifying things so they are not overly detailed or complicated. While earlier cubism purposefully eliminated most color so it would focus on form, later cubism introduces lots of color to make the pictures more lively and playful.